Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to the second part of the How to Hack Your Hoverboard Motherboard. So if you're watching this video, you probably watched part one, which is where we upload all the firmware and sold on some header pins. So now you can remove your ST link. There's a couple more bits that we need off the hoverboard. So we'll just remove one of the sensors and cut off the wire. Right, this red wire, it's 36 volts. So cut it off because we don't need it. Maybe even put a bit of tape around it. So also we want the heatsink. This is, um, well, you obviously need it to cool down all the MOSFETs, but then it's also got four mounting holes, which makes it even easier to fit. But the cable we're going to be using to connect it is this long um, switch sensor wire. So as you can see, it's got a black, green, blue, and red wires, the same as the cable that we cut off the sensor. Once we've got this, we don't have to disconnect that one. And all we have to do is just connect the wires that we need up to the wires on the other side of this plug. So blue and green, those are ones that we use for communication. So the blue and the green ones, they go to each potentiometer for steering and throttle. And that is the other switch sense cable, which we won't be using. So again, just tape it up so it doesn't accidentally touch anything. Right, and this wire again, this is another 36 volt wire, but this one is for connecting to the Bluetooth module for the Bluetooth speaker. So if you want to have like music on your robot or if you wanted to do sound effects or anything like that, this isn't a bad option. I mean, it's already set up, it's quite loud and it works for most phones, so. Could be useful. There's also a load of LEDs as well, but I think they're 12 volts, so you got to be careful what you do with them. Right, so all the other wires, the ones that we need, we've got motor wires, hall sensor wires, and obviously we're going to keep the 36 volt wire for the Bluetooth thing, because we might put that on, and then the battery wire. Okay, so this is my setup. So I've just screwed it down to a table, I've got a couple of wheels, all sensors, motor wires all plugged in. And we've got a couple of potentiometers. Not the best, but they sort of work. Right, so it's important with these potentiometers that you just give them a 3.3 volts. And conveniently, that that fourth pin on the motherboard, that's 3.3 uh, volts, so you can use that one.
Okay, so now we've got all the DAC set up, um, everything apart from the input control. Um, before we go into this, I just want to mention that if it does blow up, it's not my fault. Okay, so now that's out of the way, we can go into different control options. So, basically, anything that you can plug into an Arduino, you can use as a controller. So, what I've done, I've just split it up into three different things. So, we've got wireless, you got your infrared, you got controllers, you got um, radio control car, transmitters. Um, so, if you got a, a wired project, like something that you ride on, you might want to use a, a joystick or linear potentiometer or a throttle pedal, that kind of stuff. And then you might even be wanting to do some sort of um, autonomous thing, in which case you might have GPS sensors. So if you'd like me to make videos on how, how you can connect different kinds of things like this um, analog joystick, you know, this one is probably one of the easiest. It's basically two potentiometers and a push button switch. Super easy. Um, another potentiometer here, you know, that could quite easily make a throttle or you could have it on a pedal with a spring. That kind of stuff. So yeah, if, if you're interested in videos of that kind of that kind of thing, then just put it in the comments. Okay, so this is the Arduino code. It's it's fairly basic. It's as probably as thin down as I could make it. I mean, this is all it is. There's literally I don't know, fifty-ish lines. Right. Okay. So what we've got here, um, wire. So that's for the I2C connection. SPI, I'm not sure if we need that out of food. That's for the DACs. So we've got pop one, pop two. Those are the input potentiometers. So that could be for the joystick or for throttle controls. Um, set one, set two. That's just for mapping it out, depending on what sort of values you get from your potentiometers. Um, DAC value, that's just for the DACs. And that's more stuff for the DACs. Okay, so this is a very, 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 very important thing that I forgot to mention earlier. So the DAC is their I2C, and they've both got the same address when you get them new. Um, there is a little bridge connector on them, which you just solder them up. So solder the pins together, and that changes the address. So if you don't do it, then they're both going to be 0x60, probably. So yeah, m make sure that you do that. That's really, really important. Okay, so next bit. Right, so set one, set two. So these are these are the, the steering and the throttle. So what's this doing? This is just collecting it from the potentiometer. The potentiometer gives the number between 0 and 1024, and we're changing it to 0 to 255, which is what we need for the DAC input. Set one, so that's for the steering. Okay, so um, if the analog stick is in the center, then the steering is going to also be in the center. Okay. Um, as we got else, so if the steering is not in the center, then it can match from what it's getting from the potentiometer. Okay. So this is all just for the steering. And then this bit here, this is all for forwards, backwards, and stop. So what I've done is split it up. So instead of going from 0 to 255, we've gone 0 to 120, and then 131 to 255. And if you're wondering why there's a little gap between 120 and 131, that's just the zero throttle. So when you've got the throttle stick in the middle, this is where it'll be. It'll be on zero throttle, so it'll be stopped. Um, the main reason for this is for when you have the potentiometer all the way down to zero, it stops the wheels completely. So you can put like a limit on this. See how we've done 1059. That's the, that's the minimum that we're going to be going to. Because if you go any lower than that, then it makes the wheel stop. So just bear that in mind if you want to change some of these values. Um, that's about it for that. So yeah, basically all you got to do is put your input into set one and set two. You know, if you're going to be using a PlayStation controller, then obviously you have all your PlayStation controller code up here, and then you just put in what the buttons are. Um, 
lots of other different things, whatever you're using, you know. Yeah, you want to be using like integers. Um, but bear in mind, the limit is 255. So if you do go over that, then bad things might happen. Okay, so if you got any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, again, if you need any videos on how you can get different input devices that will work with this system, you know, I can I can do that. Like say, if you wanted a PlayStation Three controller to DAC output, you know, it's, just just put it in the comments if you want to see that video. Okay, and that's all that we have time for. So make sure you subscribe, like the video if you found it helpful. And thanks for watching. So, throttle, and then steering. So the steering obviously slows down the other wheel. Yeah.